about implementing what needs to be done when the two values are equal. Is this making sense now? Yes, sir. Right, so this is important. Uh, his question is, and I forgot, this question is why do we have line number 14 and 15? It turns out that if you don't, if you don't put line number 14 and 15, it's logic, you, you run into a, a, a logical error, right, a logic error, because what, what the CPU will do is, it will execute everything. Irrespective of what the condition is, observe. Right now, what will happen is once you get to line number 12, it will check if what is in eight and nine is the same. Are they the same? Yes. If they are the same, it's going to jump and execute here, which is fine. But if they're not the same, what it will do is it will continue execution. Now, if the values are not the same and we don't tell the program to say this is where the main label ends, then what will happen is it will execute everything, including the things that are in the equals label. So it's, it's like it defeats the whole point of you having this label in the first place. Observe what happens if I remove the labels, right? Um, if I say remove the, uh, sorry, not the labels, remove this aggressive execution out of men, and uh, put 13 here. What we expect is, we, we don't expect a string to be, logically we wouldn't expect the string um, values are equal to be printed now, would we? But, but if we execute this piece of program right now, what will happen is, and this is where we pray to the gods, say this is going to happen. What will happen is, there we go, comes here. Sorry? Yeah, because it's a logical error, right? We've, we've made a mistake. It's, it's, it's like someone enters the wrong password and they log in, right? It's, it's a logical error. Yeah, but this is what happens, right? If you don't take these things into account, they'll log in with whatever password. So do you understand why? What we're saying is always get into the habit of gracefully exiting out of the main label and these other labels, actually. Because it turns out that your your piece of code might have much more than what you have here, right? So it could have like maybe a thousand or a hundred lines of instructions here. So depending on whatever whatever instructions you're executing in different labels, you want to make sure that they're self-contained. And the way, they, the way that you specify to the CPU to say this is where this ends is you use system core code number 10, which is why we had it in line number 14 and 15. Is this making sense now? People always make that mistake, right? I don't know. Um, graceful exit out of here. <coughs> Sorry? In fact, we should. Thank you for that. You, you, you see, the, the, because we, we didn't, what we, what we have is uh, that runtime error where that, that, that irritating message pops up once we execute the instructions in the label. I have to load and initialize this, I guess. And it didn't come up here because these are different. But if they're the same, observe. If the values are the same and we execute this, the, the string will be printed out quite all right, but this thing comes up. Yeah, because we, we haven't graced exited out of the label here, which is why <coughs> Madame there was saying, uh, let's do this as well in here, which is what we should do. So if you run this now, it's error is gone. Do you understand this? Okay, that's not hard.